Welcome to the panel presented by SportCheck. We are here in Dallas ahead of the 2018 NHL Draft, and we are getting to know two out of the three assistant coaches a little bit better. We have Jack Michaels, Glenn Gullitson, Trent Yanni, and myself, Jessica Kent. So let's get to know you guys here. Uh, Trent, I believe that you actually played junior hockey with Todd McClellan. I did, yeah. Back in the day, and Glenn, you worked under Todd McClellan, so you both have a relationship with him. Trent, we'll start with you. Yeah, no, I've uh, I've known Todd for a long time. Uh, obviously played with him in uh, in Saskatoon, uh, and then uh, coached against him in in uh, the American League. So we've always uh, kept in touch as as time has passed, and spent some time with him in San Jose, and then uh, took a bit of a hiatus, and here, back here again. And Glenn, let's talk about your relationship with Todd. Yeah, it goes way back to um, Trent and Todd were a little older than me when they played in Saskatoon, and uh, I, I kind of followed in behind and then got to know these guys through the summers. So uh, as I started coaching, I, Todd was one of the guys that's really helped me and, uh, and, and I would talk to a lot. So our relationship goes right back to Saskatoon in those days as well. I was curious, as Western Conference guys for the most part, the last several years now, is it less of a transition when you join an organization against whom you've competed for so many years? We'll start with you, Trent, and, and obviously you know Todd's system. Is this somehow different yet familiar for you? I, yeah, I think so, but at the same time, being on the other side of the bench and having recently played the team in the playoffs that obviously he coached, I mean, you see a lot of the similarities, but on a, on a more positive, you also get to see the players in a different light. So uh, not knowing them and not having relationships with them, you maybe see them a little bit differently than maybe the, some of the people that have been around them the whole time do as well. And Glenn, obviously, I mean, just down the road the last couple of years in Calgary, is this, you know, an organization as you make that transition where you may have some preconceived notions, as Trent mentioned, and there's a bit of a learning curve to find out what it is like on this side. Yeah, you're going to get to know the players, like Trent said, but I think the other thing that, that we've done in, in some of our talks is that uh, our perspective of, of some of the, the Oiler players from the other side, right? So we talked about certain uh, uh, pieces or players today that, um, you know, our, 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 on the, being on the other side, we had a lot of respect for and uh, the qualities that they had. So uh, we, we brought that perspective a little bit to them today. And then we're getting a new perspective on some of the players that we had preconceived notions about too. So it's, it's been a good learning experience both ways. And I mean, just touching on that again, uh, like you said, Jack, both very familiar with the Oilers. I mean, last playoff run we had against the Ducks. Yeah. Does that, is that beneficial for you at all going into this new, next season? Well, I, I think so, because I'll have one up on them. When yeah. it, no, but no, I, I think that to see the styles that they play, like the players that are still there, um, obviously working with Todd systematically, that, that you know doesn't really change very much from team to team. But I think it's something that you keep in your back pocket and, and maybe are able, as time goes on, to be able to offer a, a player that, hey, this is the way I see you. Maybe it's something that he hasn't been said to before. And sometimes that can be just something that small can, can make a, a, big, a big difference. I'd like both of your thoughts on having been a head coach for so many years. Uh, Trent, obviously, Chicago and a number of years in the American Hockey League. Glenn, really, except for an assistant stint in Vancouver, you've been running your own bench. What is, in your experience, what's that process like now being a complementary piece as opposed to running your own bench? And how can you take your previous experience and meld it in most effectively? Let's start with you, Glenn. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, and I've done both in, in as recently as Vancouver. Um, you're a little bit more shoulder to shoulder with the players as an assistant. You get to get a little bit closer. I know uh, the, the head coach is always you know, communicating and stuff with the players, but you get a little bit, you're not, you're never as close as the trainers that I say, um, but you, you get at a little different level than, than the head guys. So you enjoy that part of it. You communicate with the guys, they'll tell you more. Um, and then you also have that perspective is that you, you've been a head coach, so you can, you can see what Todd's going through on a daily basis. And I'll tell you, it's a lot easier to be an assistant than it is the head. But when, when you've got that head experience, I, th I think you can really help the, 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 you know, we can really help Todd, both of us, just because we've been in that seat and we know how it feels. So 
um, I think that kind of experience is, is hopefully helps uh, the whole organization a little bit. And Trent, having worked for Todd, you know as well as anyone, he's not a yes man type of assistant coach. He wants to have some challenges and he wants different ideas coming to the table. Well, definitely. I mean, and he'll he'll challenge you in different ways to yeah. make sure that you're really concrete on what you're trying to sell to him. And that's that's what makes the, the staff better. And the other thing I would say with Todd is he, he's a big staff guy. And our How my, so, what do you mean by that? Well, he, he's very inclusive in, in and I think all coaching staffs. When you look at the game today, as Glenn alluded to, you're you're getting as a head coach, you're getting pulled in a lot of different directions. And and so when you leave that room, there there has to be other people that are speaking the same language that, that you're speaking and and sometimes that it it doesn't have come from the head coach sometimes the best you know vibes come from the assistant coach before you know he gets to the head coach as far as, as the player goes and it's it's just there's so much the league is so much younger there there's so much hands-on now that you have to have a, a, a good staff in place because the head coach usually I mean in, in my experience you spend a lot of time managing you know the the superstar players and you're getting you know pulled into talking to the manager, the media, and all that. And then there's there's other guys that are part of a team that have to need some attention as well. And that's kind of where we come in. And I know Todd's really big with that and making sure that we're, you know, communicating with the players and developing those relationships. All right. And lastly, quickly, guys, you excited for next season? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's an uh, exciting city, exciting building, exciting team. So. Yeah, absolutely, we're ready. Awesome, thanks so much, Glenn Gullitz and Trent Yanni. And I did have a chance to sit down with Manny Viveros a couple weeks ago. You can find that on edmontonoilers.com. Thanks so much, guys. We're happy to have you. Yeah. Well, thanks.